Hey, this is Kate from dailytarotcall.com. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. Now, this is a tarot deck by Taroteca Studio. They also did the Dark Mansion Tarot. Uh, you might remember that video. I did an unboxing of that a few, couple of years ago. All right, so the box is a shiny hard box with a magnetic flap. And there's no guidebook with it, so it's just um, it's just cards. And I'll show you the backs. And we're we're joined by my cat, Merlina. <laughs> hey, Merlina. Yeah. Okay. So the card backs look like this. So very lovely. And the card, uh, the sides of the cards are black and. The card stock is really, really nice. It's that like really rich, buttery, velvety, very luxurious feeling finish. Um, the cards are a good thickness, really high quality cards. I really like the feel of them. So I'm going to start by just slowly going through the deck and giving you a taste of this, of this deck and letting you look at the cards. So I'm, I've got them in order and I'm just going to slowly go through them. So really beautiful. The artwork looks like maybe it's digital and it's a very rich, like the colors are super, super rich. Like, ooh, this one's really pretty. Really beautiful, colorful artwork. It feels very decadent, very luxurious. It looks like maybe there's, like the faces look very realistic, like they're photographs. So this might be kind of like a, um, a like combo of digital art, photography. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Hey girl. Oh, I love this one, the chariot. There's one card, it's coming up, and it's the card that made me really fall in love with this deck. Because when I first started going through this deck, when I first got it, <clears throat> I like this card too, strength. When I first started going through it, I thought, ooh, this is a pretty deck, but I wasn't like super, oh, I like this card, this one's really good. I wasn't super enthralled with this deck until I got to the star. Although the hermit's pretty cool, actually. I like that one. We're almost at the star. Lady Justice. I like that, how his body's turning into a tree. Here it is, the star. This is one of those um, cards. I love the star so much that it's it's one of those cards that I look for whenever I'm um, looking through a deck. I'm always like, oh, I wonder how they depicted the star. And I just think this is such a beautiful depiction of the star. Oops, I feel like there's another card there. For some reason, my camera is not cooperating here. It keeps zooming in and out on the cards. This is really beautiful. I think this is so fascinating how there's a um, snake wrapped around the world. 
the background and all the colors. Okay, so we're into the suit of coins now, or also known as pentacles. I feel like this is going to be, I mean, I have, I've done a couple readings with this deck um, and they've been easy to, it's been easy to read. I feel like these cards are going to be really easy to read. I feel like they follow the Rider Waite symbolism very closely, but they, they're unique enough that they're not, you know, it doesn't feel like just another Rider Waite clone deck, <laughs> but um, I have a feeling it's going to be easy to, I'll do a little demo reading at the end of this. So you can see what these cards are like in action. Oh, here's the page. Knight. Queen. Okay, so we're into the suit of swords. A lot of these images just really like jump out at you. Like they just, <laughs> they come right off the card. Like this one, it's really powerful. I like this one. The Five of Swords is one of those cards I struggle with, but I feel like this card I'm going to have an easier time reading. Just super intense. And the core cards have a lot of character. I feel like they're easier to relate to than, than in a lot of decks. Okay, so now we're into the suit of cups and this actually happens to be my favorite suit in this deck because it has kind of an oceany mermaid theme that I love. I really like the Four of Cups here. Ugh, I can't wait to start working with this deck. <laughs> Uh, I love these images. They're so, they just come to life. They just feel very alive and dynamic. And the cards are atmospheric too. Like they have really interesting colors and glows. And um, yeah, they're, I always love a deck that feels easy to enter the card and communicate with the characters and the symbols on the cards. And this is one of those, one of those decks. Ooh, I love the Queen of Cups here. King of Cups, and now we're going to go into the Suit of Wands. So this is a very fiery, alive, passionate suit.
I love the outfits on the women in this suit. This is a very sexy suit, the suit of wands. <laughs> Okay, so we got the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. Ooh, I love this queen, Queen of Wands. She's my favorite queen. And King. And then, oh, I guess I maybe missed this one, Judgment. All right, so that is the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. And I'm going to put links below this video if you're interested in learning more about this deck or purchasing it. I'll put the links to where you can do that just below this video. So now I'm going to shuffle my deck and just do a little sample reading. And I'm going to interview the cards and I'm going to ask this deck some questions about itself. So I'm going to ask this deck, what kind of a tarot deck are you? Okay. Ooh, temperance. Okay. All right. So temperance. So temperance is all about balance and kind of walking the middle path. I think this is a good deck that if you're feeling... Like if I'm feeling really stressed out about something or really intense about something, this is a good deck to use for those kinds of readings. It's going to help me find that even keel and balance things out and feel kind of a sense of, of calmness. Um, okay, so let's ask another question. I'm going to ask, what kinds of things do you like to read on? What kinds of types of readings do you like to be used for? Oh, we got the magician. Okay fun. <laughs> so the magician, the magician is about manifestation and stepping into your power and, and, and really channeling your creative powers and your creative energy into something, uh, maybe a specific project or, or something else. Um, so this is the deck to use if you need help streamlining and like figuring out how to do something, how to make something happen. This is a good deck to use for, for those kinds of readings. This is like, to, what I'm getting from this deck is that it loves to, to, to help you with manifestation. Now, what's interesting though, is if you were to get this deck yourself and ask these same questions, you would get different cards. <laughs> so this, uh, so really this reading is just kind of what this deck, uh, it's what this deck is telling me personally as its personal owner. All right, let's ask one more question. Um, what do you look for in a tarot reader? What quality do you most value in a tarot reader? Ooh, the lovers. We got all major arcana cards. That's so interesting. Um, okay, so the lovers. So I think this deck loves a, uh, a reader who is passionate about what they do. Um, Oh, I'm trying to think. I mean, this card is all about connection. It is about passion. It's about being willing to see yourself in others. And um, I want to think of another way to word that. Um, I feel like it's also a card of polarity and kind of incorporating all the polarities, kind of similar to temperance. Temperance is about balance. The lovers is about kind of two polarities coming together, merging. So I feel like this deck uh, really values a reader who kind of embodies the energy of the lovers. Um, overall, this is a powerful reading, all major arcana cards. And the themes here are balance, uh, connection, manifestation, walking the middle path. Yeah, so um, so yeah, that was fun. I always like to do a little sample reading at the end just so you see how a deck, uh, 
how a deck behaves when, when you're reading it. So this is the Elemental Wisdom and I'll put all the links on where you can purchase or find out more below this video. Um, so my name is Kate, I'm from dailytarotworld.com. I can check out my website, dailytarotworld.com for all kinds of fun tarot learning resources. And thank you so much for watching.